Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to buy Ethereum on Crypto.com, and then I'm going to show you how to store it in a Ledger Nano hardware device for safekeeping. So let's get started. So Crypto.com is a quick, easy, and inexpensive way to get your hands on cryptocurrency. Today I'm going to show you how to buy Ethereum and you're going to want to store that in your own wallet. Today I'm going to show you how to store your Ethereum cryptocurrency in a Ledger Nano hardware device, which is a what we call a hardware or cold wallet for very safe, long-term secure storage. So the first thing I'll do is show you how to buy some Ethereum. So we're just going to go into Crypto.com. Now, when you're at the home screen, if you want to buy a cryptocurrency, you just hit that trade button there at the top. And today we're going to choose buy. And we're going to do Ethereum. So I'll just tap on Ethereum there. And you can choose how much you want to buy. All right, so I'm going to edit this field here. And I'm going to buy about $40 worth of Ethereum. All right, you can buy as much or as little as you want, but there are uh, weekly limits on this. Now you'll notice that I'm using the credit card option. Uh, there are different ways that you can buy cryptocurrency on crypto.com. The credit or debit card is one of the easiest and quickest, but you also have the crypto wallet where you could trade if you have other cryptocurrencies you wanna trade for Ethereum, or you could use the fiat wallet option where you'll make a deposit from your bank into your crypto.com account. That takes a little bit longer. I'm just going to show you the credit card method. It's very simple and easy. I'm going to hit buy and then I'll approve that. Notice the fee is 83 cents. Pretty cheap compared to some other platforms. All right, so I'm going to hit confirm there. All right, and there we go. We've uh, made our purchase of Ethereum. And then after that, I'm going to go over to the accounts interface. The accounts interface is down at the bottom there, right next to home. And I'm going to go to my crypto wallet, and you can see there that I've got about $41 worth of Ethereum. Now, I've also got uh, some crypto.com coin that I got as a reward, uh, a referral reward. And you also get cash back when you use your card. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell that for Ethereum too. I'll sell the CRO for Ethereum, and then I'll just tap the blue button there. All right, I don't get charged any fee for trading uh, CRO. I'll hit confirm there. Our CRO balance goes to zero. And now you can see we've got more Ethereum. So I'm going to show you how to withdraw this to your own hardware device. So if you own a Ledger Nano device, you're going to use Ledger Live. You can use Ledger Live to manage your Ethereum. All right, so you can see that I already have an Ethereum address. And it's in my crypto.com account already. It's whitelisted. But I'd like to show you how you would add a brand new address if you've never done this before. So I've created a brand new empty Ethereum account here so I can demonstrate how this works. So I'm going to hit receive. Now notice on my device, I'm at the home screen, right? And when I hit continue here, it's going to display a message telling me to enter the Ethereum app. So I'll hit both buttons to do that. Now, once I'm in the Ethereum app, you'll notice it's going to generate a message for me on the device. It says verify address. I can move over using this metal button to the address field where I can match that address with the one I see on my screen. That's a fail safe. All right. And then I'll go one over to approve. But before I approve this, I want access to this address. So before I hit approve, I'm going to do a show QR code. This is going to make it really easy for me to add this address to my crypto.com account. So let's go back over to crypto.com. All right, there's the list of addresses I already have whitelisted. I'm going to hit that plus up in the top right corner. I can choose between wallet address or pay ID. I'm going to choose wallet address today. And there's the blank interface where I can enter a new Ethereum address. Well, I don't really want to try to type in that huge long address by hand. So there's a little icon over to the side where it shows a little QR code. I'm going to tap that and it's going to open up the camera on my phone. And I can use that to scan the QR code so that the address is auto entered into my crypto.com. Right? And I'm going to give this one a name. 
we'll just call this one Ethereum new, which is the same name I gave it in uh, my ledger interface. But you can type whatever you want here, whatever's meaningful for you. Now I need to put in my two-factor authentication in order to authorize this. So I'm going to open up my Google Authenticator. There's the code at the top for Crypto.com. I'm just going to tap it, copy it into my clipboard, and then I'm going to go back over to Crypto.com and paste it in. All right. And uh, once I've entered my two-factor, it's going to send me an email to confirm all of this. These are all security features. All right, and then we'll get that little confirmation email. We'll hit the confirm there. All right, and it should open up the crypto.com app again. All righty, and then the uh, new Ethereum address appears there in the list. All right, so uh, now we can withdraw our Ethereum. We'll just hit withdraw ETH. All right, and then we can tap that little edit field there and edit the amount we want to send. And you'll notice there down below the withdrawal button, we've got the max. I can just tap on that. Uh, but I'm not going to send the max. Actually, I'm going to send about half of that. All right, because I want to show you two different ways uh, to send Ethereum. So we'll hit withdraw. All right, we'll hit confirm. And then we'll enter our two-factor authentication from our Google Authenticator. A Google Authenticator code only uh, shows up for about 10 seconds. But I got that one. I got it under the wire there. Now what I'd like to show you is uh, how to withdraw to a MetaMask wallet. So we can close this. Oh, and we can go ahead and uh, verify our, or approve our, that address that we were checking on the device, right? We'll hit that. Then we just wait for the Ethereum to come in here. All right, and then you'll see there that the ETH has arrived in my Ledger-based wallet, the Ledger Live interface to my uh, hardware device. But I'd also like to show you how to withdraw to MetaMask because that's the go-to wallet um, if you're trading on decentralized platforms. So I'll just go over here and I'm going to open up my MetaMask wallet. All right, now if you don't know uh, about MetaMask, how to install MetaMask and get it all set up, I've got a great video on that. I'll put a link to that up in the corner there so you can check that out. But if you've got your MetaMask set up and you want to transfer from crypto.com, it's pretty easy. So instead of clicking this and copying it into your clipboard, um, you'll want to get that QR code again. So you can just hit the three dots over here and go to account details. It's going to show the QR address of the Ethereum address of this wallet. All right. So let's go back over to our crypto.com. I'll move the phone over here and we're going to add another address. So uh, we're going to do another transfer. It'll be a, a withdraw and then we'll tap external wallet. And now we're going to add a new wallet, unless I've already done this one. Let me check. All right. Now, if I were sending to this wallet for the first time, I would just repeat that process that we did to whitelist that new address in Ledger. But in the case of this particular wallet, I already have that address in my whitelist. So if you'll notice, I can scroll down there, down towards the bottom there where I've got it listed as Trust Wallet. And I'll just tap Withdraw ETH. And this time I'll go ahead and do the max, whatever's left over, right? I'll hit max, I'll hit withdraw, and then I'll tap confirm there. And I'm gonna need to put in my two-factor authentication, Google Authenticator. We'll tap that code there at the top. We'll slide back over to crypto.com. We'll tap paste, and there we go. All right, and then I can just uh, get rid of this and just wait for the ETH to come in to my MetaMask wallet. All right, and there you see that it just arrived. Uh, we can check over here in activity, and you can see here over in activity that I uh, that little bit of Ethereum has arrived in this wallet. So um, then you can fund your Ethereum wallet and maybe go to one of the DeFi platforms like Uniswap, All right? You'll notice that I'm connected to that uh, MetaMask wallet and my current balance is reflected in uh, the Uniswap protocol so I can start trading. All right.
So that's a quick and easy way to purchase Ethereum to store in your hardware wallet or store in MetaMask so that you can trade on DeFi platforms. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.